this video, I'm going to continue working on this assignment, Unit 5.2, T9. We're going to model this part on page 3, the front. Start off by going to New, Part. Create a new sketch. Let's do it this time on the YZ plane. Turn on Construction. Select Rectangle, select the Origin, and type in point 0.2, Tab, 1.6, Tab, Enter. I'm going to create a point at this corner, hit Escape. I'm going to draw a window about these, around these lines and delete them. I don't need them. Keep the point. Draw another rectangle. Make this 1.15. Tab. 1.4. Tab. Enter. Once again, I'm going to use the point tool and put a point in this corner. Hit Escape, and I could delete these lines. One more point at the origin. One point two five tab. 1.1, tab enter, put a point here at the corner, hit escape, and I could delete these lines. I'm going to turn off construction geometry, I'm going to create a real geometry line uh, starting at the origin, going across until it snaps to this point here, 1.6. And then I'm going to go up and connect to that point. Hit Escape. And create another line at the starting at the origin. Going straight up, and I'm going to go 1.53. Enter. One more time with the line, I'm going to connect that point to this point. I'm going to create a three-point arc from that point to there and make the radius 2.3. Another three point arc from this point to that point. Make the radius 2.356. Finish your sketch. Going to extrude in both directions. Make the distance 3.17. I'm going to create a work plane, an offset work plane. I'm going to create it on this surface there. I'm going to need it later. For right now, I'm just going to turn the visibility off. I'm going to rotate the part around. Create a sketch on that face. I'm going to turn on construction and I'm going to project this face. Create a line from there, from corner to corner. Turn off construction geometry, select a centered rectangle, select the intersection of the two lines, 
enter 2.39, tab 0.93, tab enter. Finish your sketch. You can extrude. I'm going to remove material. Make it the distance 0.57. I'm going to create a fillet and make the radius 0.2. I'm going to select these edges. I'm also going to select this edge here. and this edge here and select OK. I'm going to create another fillet. This time I'm going to make it 0 0.3 and select this edge and this edge. Select Apply and one more time, I'm going to do another fillet. Um, leave it at 0 0.3. Select this edge here. Select OK. Can't do all all these edges at once. It, it'll give you an error if you try, and that's why I do them separately. I'm going to create a sketch on this work plane, the one I created earlier. Uh, make it visible. Turn on the visibility. And I'm going to create a new sketch on that work plane. New sketch. I'm going to turn on construction geometry. And I'm going to project uh, this line and this line here. I'm going to draw another line just across here. Make sure it's horizontal. Hit escape. And I'm going to add a dimension here from uh, here to here. To make that 0.18. I'm going to draw another line. Make sure you're snap, not snapping to any other feature. Create a dimension. Make this 0.32. If it will not let you dimension it, it's because you snapped to a feature, a, a line, a hidden line. So you'll have to redraw the line if it will not let, if it will not, if it gives you a dimension in brackets, you'll have to redraw this line. Create another line. Add a dimension from here to here. Make that 0.27. Turn off construction geometry. And I'm going to put down two points. A point here at the intersection of that line and one here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Just a regular rectangle. Draw it on this edge. Make sure it doesn't snap to anything. And make it a point 0.06. Tab. 0.06, tab enter, create a dimension from here to here, that's 0.3, finish your sketch, let's do, choose your hole tool, and um, let's see, the depth should be 1 inch. The diameter is 0.2. So you want to specify a distance, and you want the distance to be 1 inch. You want the diameter to be 0.2. And you want the direction to be like that into the part. If it's not, you may have to flip these arrows. 
to make sure that it goes into the part and select OK. I want to continue using this sketch, so I'm going to bring it out so I can use it. I just drag the sketch out from underneath the whole feature. The sketch is here now. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to remove material and I'm going to set the extent to all. Should look like that. And I'm removing material. Select OK. I'm going to mirror these features I just created. Select feature and then point to the holes and to the slot. Select mirror face and select the the YZ plane. Select OK. I'm going to turn off this sketch, turn the visibility off. I'm going to turn off this work plane, turn the visibility off. I'm going to change the material to birch natural polished and I'm going to change this material setting to wood birch. I'm going to verify my front view. Go to your front view and it should look like that. I'm going to create a new drawing. Place my base view. Change the scale to 2 to 1. Create some projected views. Right mouse button, projected views. Side view, top view, and an ISO view. Right mouse button, create. I'm going to select this view and turn on shaded. To create annotate, choose annotate dimensions. I'll just put down a few dimensions. Go to Properties, to Summary, and change the title 5.2 T9 Front. Change your name. Select OK. Export this to PDF and submit it to LMS to complete your assignment.